The humans burst into mocking laughter in the Galactic Council Chamber as Gabriel Griffin passionately pleaded his case for funding an FTL drive project that could revolutionize interstellar travel and save countless lives. The alien counselors sneered at the primitive human with his impossible theories, their laughter echoing off the dome as they sent him packing in disgrace. Gabriel hung his head as he left, the alien derision still ringing in his ears. His brother's death during a years-long journey gnawed at his heart, a journey that could have taken mere hours with a functioning FTL drive. The arrogant alien races had mastered FTL eons ago, but jealously guarded the secret from inferior species like humanity. Spread thin across the stars, but shackled by the crawling pace of subluminal travel, humans were rapidly losing any hope of truly thriving in the cosmos. But Gabriel wouldn't give up on his dream no matter how many alien bureaucrats scoffed in his face. He had the theories, the plans, the vision. He just needed a chance to prove it could work. Determined to spit in the face of the naysayers, Gabriel assembled a secret team of brilliant misfits and renegades in an abandoned shuttle factory. If the alien councils wouldn't fund sanctioned research, then they would build their prototype in the shadows with whatever scraps they could scrounge. As Gabriel and his team toiled in secrecy, tirelessly refining their revolutionary FTL engine designs, word of the clandestine project reached the pointed ears of Chancellor Thule. The haughty Ferengi sneered at the very idea of humans dabbling in advanced physics, and seethed with rage at the thought of an inferior race nipping at his species' technological heels. Thule would destroy this human upstart and his pathetic pipe dream by any means necessary. Ferengi agents raided Gabriel's compound, their disruptors blasting holes in the prototype drive and sending months of painstaking work up in flames. A mole within Gabriel's own team fed the aliens every scrap of data before disappearing into the darkness. As his funding evaporated, his team fractured, and the most powerful forces in the galaxy arrayed against him, Gabriel wondered how he could possibly press on. But press on he must, for without a human FTL breakthrough, his species would forever wither in the galactic backwaters, a footnote in the annals of spacefaring civilizations. No, Gabriel decided, failure was not an option. One way or another, he would drag humanity into the light. Gabriel's heart raced as he gathered his remaining team in the dimly lit basement of an abandoned warehouse. The ragtag group of engineers and scientists, their faces etched with exhaustion and desperation, huddled around a flickering holographic display. Gabriel's eyes gleamed with a mix of persistence and desperation as he revealed his ace in the hole. We're not done yet, he declared, his voice steady despite the weight of the revelation. I have a backup of all our research data, and there's another lab, a secret one, off the grid. We can rebuild the prototype there, away from prying eyes. The team exchanged glances, a flicker of hope reigniting in their weary eyes. But Gabriel's brow furrowed as he surveyed the group, the specter of betrayal lurking in his mind. He couldn't shake the feeling that another Ferengi mole had wormed their way into his inner circle. But, he continued his voice hardening, I can't risk everything again. From now on, I'll be compartmentalizing information. Each of you will work on your part of the project, but no one will have the full picture. Not until we're ready. The announcement hung in the air, a palpable tension settling over the room. Some shifted uncomfortably, their trust in Gabriel and each other strained by the months of setbacks and betrayals. But they had come too far to turn back now. In the weeks that followed, Gabriel sequestered himself in the hidden lab, poring over the salvaged data and schematics. He worked feverishly, barely sleeping, his mind consumed by the elusive key to perfecting the FTL drive. And then, in a moment of exhausted clarity, it hit him. The key was miniaturization, and the answer lay in a rare, crystalline element, one that could theoretically compress the FTL drive's core components into a fraction of their current size. Gabriel's heart raced at the implications, but his excitement was swiftly tempered by a harsh reality. The only known source of the crystals was on Ferengar, the heavily guarded homeworld of the Ferengi themselves. Undeterred, Gabriel hatched a plan as audacious as it was desperate. Disguised as a humble human trader, he slipped away to Ferengar, 
armed with nothing but his wits and a burning persistence. In the seedy underbelly of a Ferengi trading outpost, he made a tentative connection. Zorn, a disgruntled Ferengi engineer with an axe to grind against Thule and his cronies. I can get you the crystals, Zorn promised, his eyes glinting with a mix of greed and revenge. But I want in on your little project. A full partnership, not just table scraps. Gabriel hesitated, the risk of bringing an outsider, a Ferengi no less, into the fold, warring with his desperation. But the clock was ticking, and he knew he had no choice. Deal, he said, clasping Zorn's hand in a tentative alliance. The infiltration of the mining facility was a heart-pounding blur of adrenaline and fear. Gabriel and Zorn, clad in stolen Ferengi worker uniforms, slipped past security checkpoints and surveillance drones, their every step a dance with discovery. They had nearly reached the crystal storage vault when a shout rang out behind them. Intruders! Stop them! Disruptor blasts sizzled past Gabriel's ear as he and Zorn sprinted for the exit, a pouch of precious crystals clutched tightly to Gabriel's chest. Zorn stumbled, a disruptor bolt grazing his leg. Gabriel skidded to a halt, his mind racing. Leave Zorn behind, or risk everything to save him. In that split second, Gabriel made his choice. He hauled Zorn to his feet half-dragging the injured Ferengi as they fled into the labyrinthine streets of the Ferengi capital. It was a miracle they made it back to Gabriel's hidden ship, Zorn's blood staining the deck as they blasted off into the stars. From that moment, something shifted between the human and the Ferengi. A grudging respect, an unspoken loyalty forged in the crucible of shared danger. Together, they returned to Earth the stolen crystals the key to unlocking humanity's FTL future. But as Gabriel and his team raced to integrate the crystals into the new drive design, the specter of paranoia grew ever darker in Gabriel's mind. He retreated into himself, locking away his research, his plans, even his fears. He trusted no one, not even those who had been with him from the start. Whispers began to circulate among the team, hushed concerns about Gabriel's state of mind. Some even began to question if their leader had finally cracked under the weight of his obsessive quest. But still, they pressed on, driven by the tantalizing promise of the FTL breakthrough that lay just within their grasp. Little did they know that high above Earth, a Ferengi armada was massing, a vast, menacing assemblage of warships that darkened the skies. Thule, his fury stoked to a raging inferno by Gabriel's brazen theft and Zorn's betrayal, would settle for nothing less than the total annihilation of the human FTL project and all those associated with it. As the first Ferengi salvos rained down upon the planet's surface, Gabriel and his team faced an impossible choice. Stay and fight in a doomed last stand against the invaders, or take to the stars in their untested ship, gambling everything on a desperate bid to lure the Ferengi away from Earth. For Gabriel, there was no choice at all. He would pilot the ship himself, risking his own life to give humanity a fighting chance. As he strapped himself into the command chair, the makeshift vessel humming with the power of its revolutionary FTL drive, he knew that the next few moments would decide not just his own fate, but that of his entire species. The ship rocketed into the sky the roar of the drive drowning out the cacophony of battle below. Gabriel's hands flew over the controls, his eyes locked on the screen as the Ferengi fleet loomed before him. This was it, the moment of truth. Would the FTL drive prove to be humanity's salvation or just another failed dream in the face of a hostile universe? As Gabriel hurtled towards the Ferengi flagship, he whispered a silent prayer to the stars, his brother's face flashing before his eyes. I won't let you down, he murmured to the ghosts of his past and the hopes of humanity's future. Not this time, not ever again. Gabriel banged his head on the control panel as the prototype FTL drive roared to life. Alarms blared throughout the ship as Ferengi disruptor fire rained down on their secret facility. Now or never, Gabriel shouted. Hang on to something. The ship lurched violently as it tore free from its moorings. 
Gabriel's stomach churned as stars blurred into streaks of light. They'd done it. The FTL drive worked. But their victory was short-lived. As the adrenaline faded, the dire reality of their situation set in. Gabriel scanned the readouts, his face tight with worry. Fuel reserves at 18%, life support systems taxed, and these crystals... He tapped a fluctuating display. They're degrading fast. We've got maybe three jumps left before the drive burns out completely. A tense silence fell over the bridge. They were alive, but for how long? Suddenly, a faint signal pinged on the long-range scanners. Gabriel leaned in, squinting at the readout. A distress call? Out here? As they approached the signal's origin, a battered colony ship came into view. Surrounding it was a swarm of sleek, predatory vessels. Pirates, Zorn hissed, his Ferengi ears twitching. Cracks is banned, if I'm not mistaken. Gabriel watched in horror as the pirates' weapons tore into the helpless colonists. Without a word, he punched in the coordinates for their first micro-jump. The battle was a blur of tactical jumps and precision strikes. Gabriel pushed the FTL drive to its limits, using their superior speed to dance circles around Crax's lumbering cruisers. With each pass, they scooped up groups of terrified colonists while peppering the pirate ships with withering fire. But even as they turned the tide, Zorn grew increasingly agitated. The Ferengi paced the bridge, casting suspicious glances at their new passengers. Something's not right, he muttered. Some of these colonists, their mannerisms, their speech patterns, they're not what they seem. Gabriel was about to dismiss Zorn's concerns when a proximity alarm shrieked. One of the colonists had breached the engine room. It's a trap, Zorn yelled, tackling the saboteur just as they reached for a crucial power coupling. With Crax's forces regrouping for a final assault, Gabriel made a desperate gamble. He punched in coordinates for a jump that would take them perilously close to the planet's surface. The ship groaned as gravitational forces threatened to tear it apart. A blinding flash erupted as they exited jump space, the resulting shockwave scattering Crax's fleet like leaves in a hurricane. As the chaos subsided, Gabriel slumped in his chair, utterly spent. The FTL drive sputtered and died, the precious Ferengi crystals nothing more than useless slag. They'd won the day, but at a terrible cost. With their revolutionary drive destroyed and supplies dwindling, Gabriel faced an impossible choice. Trust the colonists and their ship to get them home, knowing there might be more traitors in their midst, or hunker down here, protecting the remains of his life's work, and pray for rescue. Gabriel's mind raced as he weighed his options. Either way, the fate of humanity's future in the stars hung in the balance. Gabriel's heart pounded as he made the gut-wrenching decision. We have no choice, he announced to his team. We need to abandon ship and transfer to the colonist vessel. The crew worked feverishly, transferring vital research data and equipment to the larger ship. Gabriel's fingers flew across the control panel, initiating the computer purge sequence. Streams of data scrolled across the screen, erasing years of work in moments. It's done! Gabriel said, his voice heavy, let's go. As they boarded the colonist ship, Gabriel cast one last glance at his crippled FTL prototype. Years of work, reduced to scrap, but the dream lived on in the data they'd saved. The journey that followed tested them all. Months stretched into years as they crawled through uncharted space. Gabriel spent countless hours in the makeshift lab, poring over his data, searching for a breakthrough. One day, alarms blared throughout the ship. Gabriel rushed to the bridge to find the navigator, Jiro, staring wide-eyed at the view screen. What is that? Gabriel breathed. Before them loomed a massive structure, easily dwarfing their ship. Its alien architecture defied description, a maze of geometric shapes and unfamiliar materials. It's a ship, Jiro said, but like nothing I've ever seen. Gabriel led a team to investigate. They drifted through cavernous chambers, their flashlights barely penetrating the darkness. In what appeared to be the engine room, Gabriel froze. This can't be, he whispered, studying a familiar yet impossibly advanced device. It's an FTL drive, but the power, 
It's orders of magnitude beyond anything we've achieved. Zorn's eyes narrowed as he examined the surrounding consoles. Wait, he said. I recognize these symbols. They're ancient Ferengi. This talks about a fuel source called Drexen. Gabriel's mind raced. Can we use it? Zorn shook his head. It's incredibly unstable, found only in dying stars. Gabriel's face set with dedication. Then that's where we're going. Weeks later, Gabriel stood on the bridge of a heavily modified shuttle, staring at the roiling surface of a dying star. This is insane, one of the crew muttered. It's our only shot, Gabriel replied. Let's do this. They plunged towards the star's corona. The ship shuddered violently as solar flares lashed out. Alarms screamed as radiation levels spiked. There, Zorn shouted, pointing to a stream of energy unlike anything they'd seen. Gabriel maneuvered the ship closer, extending the collection array. The Drexen flowed into the containment chamber. Suddenly, a massive solar flare erupted directly in their path. Gabriel yanked the controls, barely avoiding incineration. As they pulled away, a rogue asteroid hurtled past, missing them by meters. Back on the colonist ship, Gabriel's hands trembled as he carefully inserted the Drexen into the alien drive. He took a deep breath and activated the system. The ship lurched violently as reality itself seemed to twist. Stars blurred into streaks of light and then... They emerged into unknown space. Alarms blared as systems overloaded. Where are we? Someone shouted. Before Gabriel could answer, a new threat emerged. Swarms of sleek, deadly drones poured from the still-attached alien derelict, weapons blazing. Evasive maneuvers, Gabriel shouted, but he knew their unarmed ship was no match. As life support systems began to fail, Gabriel made a desperate decision. We need to overload the drive, he said. Create an artificial singularity. It's our only chance. He raced to the engine room, initiating the overload sequence. But as the power buildup began, a figure stepped from the shadows. I can't let you do that, the colonist said, leveling a weapon at Gabriel. Gabriel's mind reeled. A traitor? Here? Now? As the singularity grew behind him, he knew he had only moments to act. The fate of everyone aboard hung in the balance. Gabriel's eyes widened as the colonist stepped from the shadows, weapon trained on him. The singularity roared behind them, its hungry maw growing with each passing second. You fool! Gabriel shouted over the din. You've doomed us all! The traitor sneered. Better oblivion than letting humans spread across the galaxy. Gabriel lunged, his body moving on pure instinct. The agent fired, the energy blast searing Gabriel's side. Gritting his teeth against the pain, Gabriel tackled the traitor. They grappled on the deck, alarms blaring all around them. With a burst of desperate strength, Gabriel slammed the agent's head against a bulkhead. The traitor went limp, but the damage was done. Gabriel stumbled to his feet, clutching his wounded side. Blood seeped between his fingers as he lurched to the control panel. Zorn, he shouted into the comm. Get everyone to the shuttles now! The Ferengi's voice crackled back. What about you? No time, Gabriel grunted. I have to eject the drive core. His hands flew across the controls, overriding safety protocols. With a shuddering groan, the ancient alien drive detached from the ship. Gabriel watched it drift away, the singularity within still expanding unchecked. Gabriel! Zorn's voice cut through the chaos. The last shuttle's prepped. We're waiting for you. Gabriel shook his head, though no one could see. Someone has to stay behind. I'm jury-rigging the engines for maximum thrust. It's the only way to generate enough force to collapse the singularity. Silence filled the comm channel. Then Zorn spoke, his voice heavy. You're sure about this? It's the only way, Gabriel replied. Now go! As the final shuttle detached, Gabriel pushed the colonist ship's engines far beyond their limits. Warning lights flashed across every console as he aimed the dying vessel directly at the ejected drive core. The ship accelerated to impossible speeds. Gabriel's vision blurred as G-forces crushed him into his seat. With the last of his strength, he kept the ship on course. In the fleeing shuttle, 
Zorn watched in awe as the colonist ship streaked past, a bolt of light hurtling towards certain destruction. The impact was cataclysmic. A blinding flash lit up the void as Gabriel's sacrifice triggered a cascade of exotic particles. The singularity collapsed in on itself, imploding with unimaginable force. A shockwave rippled outward, shredding the swarm of killer drones that had pursued them. Zorn's shuttle tumbled end over end, battered by the cosmic forces unleashed. As the chaos subsided, Zorn pressed his face to the viewport. Where the colonist ship had been, only debris remained, and at the center of it all, a shrinking point of absolute darkness. The last remnants of the singularity that had nearly consumed them all. Zorn's shoulders slumped as the reality sank in. Gabriel was gone, swallowed by the very forces he had sought to control. But his final act had saved them all. The Ferengi's hand clutched a data crystal, rescued from the colonist ship. Within it lay the fruits of Gabriel's labor, the key to unlocking the secrets of wormhole technology. As the battered shuttles drifted in the void, waiting for rescue, Zorn vowed that Gabriel's sacrifice would not be in vain. Humanity would claim its place among the stars, just as his friend had always dreamed. You have reached the end of the story. If you enjoyed this story and want to support us, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. And for every comment that says 88, I will heart every single one of them. Thank you for your time.